Um, the, the, the final part of, the, of this three-day panel on geology, geochemistry, uh, hydrology, and water quality is an opportunity for, um, for comments by Pebble to just sort of check in with you all about uh, kind of how you're feeling about this, any, any, uh, anything you want to respond to that you've heard throughout this process. So I think John's going to do that. Well, since I have a pathetic degree in political science, and you guys are all real science scientists, so there's not much I can add to what you've already done. But I really would like to, first of all, express my appreciation to all of you. Um, I know um, you've been accused publicly of being bought off by us. Uh, since we didn't pay you anything, it's either the cheapest buy-off in the history of science or uh, we got what we wanted. And it's the latter. We got exactly what we expected from the people that were involved. Uh, I think uh, we wanted to do this because we want to get our science right. And so, um, I mean, you've given us a lot to do here, and of course there, there is the whole thing of budget and things like that, and there's never, you never have all the information you want. But we've, give, we've been given a lot of very, very good advice here. Uh, and, and I'd also like to express my appreciation to those people who uh, aren't particularly supportive of Pebble, who showed up to ask questions, and, and this is the kind of conversation I really think we need to have. This is certainly a very challenging project. It's not one that's going to come easily, uh, uh, but, you know, we have not been shy about spending money. We have not been shy about trying to get things right, and so uh, we may not take every single piece of advice, but we're going to listen to every single piece of advice, and so thank you all very much, and, and Todd, I thank you. Keystone for putting this all together, and certainly the, our hosts that kept everything under control, but particularly the scientists that, that shared their expertise with us. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, John. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you a little, uh, little bit of perspective on where, where we're going to go from here with this information. So uh, as I've mentioned a couple of times, we have another, we're doing another panel, three-day panel next week that's focused on uh, on what, we're, what we've been calling fish, um, wildlife, uh, habitat, and then socioeconomic, cultural, and subsistence issues. Um, I mentioned early in the, in the discussion, I think a couple of days ago, that we have a couple of gaps in our, um, in this, in our ability to get, science, get a couple of scientists to fill certain areas. Then pr this is primarily, primarily in the uh, dealing with the biological issues. So. Um, we don't have panel members to talk about um, wildlife uh, and uh, in wildlife endangered species, um, vegetation and wetlands, and um, and we haven't found a scientist to help us talk about traditional knowledge. So we're hoping that to put together um, an additional panel that br that kind of brings all of those things together. But we would only do it if there's an interest in in doing it and uh, and have this kind of a a dialogue, and then where, where we did that, I think we'd be certainly open to suggestions. So, so then the pa the panels next week uh, will definitely cover fish. Uh, that's a we know that's a really important area. Uh, it will cover um, the marine environment, the Cook Inlet uh, environment, um, and we'll cover uh, socioeconomic issues. We'll cover recreational recreational issues uh, that include tourism. Uh, we'll cover um, cultural resources and we'll cover subsistence. And the subsistence will get into the traditional knowledge a little bit, but n not enough that, that we really feel that we need to. So um, that's one where we want to try to find um, suitable experts who are available. We found a lot of people who are very interested, but they weren't, weren't available. So we want to want to make sure we do that. Uh, so next week will be, um, we will be the panels that we've, that I've just described. Uh, we won't cover wildlife, we won't cover endangered species, uh, we won't cover vegetation, we won't cover wetlands, but we'll cover, we'll just, we're going to spend a full day on fish um, and a half a day on uh, the marine environment, a uh, half a day on um, socioeconomics, a half a day on cultural resources, and a half a day on subsistence. Uh, so we should have a good discussion and hopefully you all will come back and we'll have, uh, we'll get even more people. The panels next week are also, I should, I should mention, um, registration is full for those. Um, we do expect that as, you know, that, we, that there will be some attrition. And um, so I think we, we will be able to take uh, walk-ins. It's, 
it's much better if you let us know you're coming. Um, we did have a little, a few uh, glitches in the registration because we didn't know some people were coming. Um, but we definitely want to accommodate everybody that we can and and open it up as much as possible. So, then the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, a couple of people have asked about uh, about DVD coverage um, and when when this will when th how this is all going to be distributed. So there's a couple of ways that we're going to distribute it. One is we're going to put it on the Keystone Center's website. Uh, we're going to download each all of the sessions onto the Keystone Center's website, uh, and they'll be um, they'll be downloaded in session so you'll be able to watch a session you don't have to watch the whole thing to get to um, the most interesting comments um, we will we're also planning on uh, distributing DVDs um, we've been told by uh, KTOO that uh, that the entire uh, three-day panel is will be about 20 DVDs um, <laughs> uh, so that's a that will be a bit of a challenge, but we are um, we're going to try to make that uh, uh, available. It might be easier to go on our website than get the DVDs, but we will we will make the DVDs available. Uh, and there's also um, KT uh, 360 North is planning, and correct me if I'm uh, misstating this. 360 North is planning uh, Pebble Week, October the week of October 22nd, where um, these will be shown in their entirety, I believe. Nodding, yes. Okay, good. Well, there's a question. There is a question whether or not we could actually post these before you, before you you show them on on. Uh, we can post them before that. So as soon as we so, the production will be done before the twenty second, which is a fast turnaround, and we'll we'll go ahead and post them as soon as we get them, assuming that we're not uh, that our web page isn't completely shut down by the amount of, of data, but I think I think we can handle that. Um, so we'll so we'll put them up as, as soon as we can. Um, other people other people have asked us for segments of uh, DVD of the the, the uh, discussions and they want to be able to pull out a segment and show that. Um, that's a little scary for us um, because what we really don't want um, I think what we're trying to really avoid is uh, people cherry picking a statement and saying this is this is what the science panel said and then putting that uh, on a YouTube uh, video or something like that. Um, we know that's going to happen um, and probably what's going to happen is me talking about it now will be cut out of that. Um, <laughs> Um, I just got a correction. So 24 DVDs for all six days. So 12 DVDs per per panel, per three-day panel. So that's a little more manageable. Um, so I, ju I just want to say that because there's a lot of good discussion here, um, and there's a and there's a real temptation to not look at the at the whole of the discussion and and the and the value of of all of that interaction. There's a there's a real temptation to pull out sound bites because that's sort of the political process and that's we want to we want to try to keep the entirety of the conversation uh, as part of that so um, I know you'll cut that out too but um, I'm gonna say it anyway that is all um, I think I have to say um, I want to thank Matt and Nikki and Susan and Susan again for their help um, and uh, the library obviously great space um, and uh, and Leanne Monk again for her um, for host and being our on-campus hostess and providing uh, uh, making making this uh, facility available. So uh, we will be, we will see you all next week um, Tuesday, uh, same time, same place, and um, wish you all well for the week. So thanks again. <laughs>